Hello dear students. Today we are going to see new topic navy string matching algorithm. String matching is very important topic from the algorithm subject point of view. These are the various contents that we are going to cover today. What is string matching? Its introduction, applications, example, algorithm. What are the problems with Navy string matching algorithm? So, let us see what is string matching. So, string matching is finding all the occurrence of a pattern in a given text. You are given a body of text and from that you try to find out some particular pattern. That is what we mean by string matching. There are many applications of string matching algorithm. Like if you are using editor or word processor and if you try to find out some words, this is also one kind of string matching. If you are browsing something, this is an application of a string matching. While you are entering into an application, you are entering your name, password, right? So that password matching, username matching is also an example of string matching. We are detecting virus on our computer. It is also an application of string matching algorithm. While you are communicating between the computers and if you are doing the header analysis, again it is an example of string matching. If you would like to find out the similarity between two people and if we try to find out the DNA sequence and its similarity, again it is a string matching application. So all these are the various applications where we can use this. So in computer science, string matching algorithms, they are sometimes called string matching algorithms that try to find a place where one or several strings or you can say pattern are found within a large string or text. Let us try to understand this particular problem in much more detail. You are given a text. Now usually when we store text means it is a set of characters or it is a string of characters and we usually store in an array. Let us assume that array we have stored in a text t 1 to n and the length of that particular text is n. Now we try to find out some pattern into that particular text and the pattern length is m and we have stored in array p 1 to m of length m. Elements of text and pattern are characters from finite alphabets. So usually your text or pattern can be formed using some symbols like you may use these kind of symbols 0 and 1 or you may use character symbols like a to z and usually this text and pattern t stands for text p stands for pattern are called strings of characters. String matching problem, what we have to do, we have to start comparing our pattern with the text and if that pattern is found, then we have to write down that we have found the pattern. But if the pattern does not match in a given text, what we have to do, we have to apply this operation. That operation is known as 
shift operation that will get clear when we go, will go through one example before that say there are several terminologies related to strings that we require to understand say for an example you are given two strings x and y now if you perform this concatenation operation we will get x y this is operation is known as concatenation operation say for example let us say x is equal to this string putra and y is equal to string jaya then we will have this concatenation string putra jaya now there are two more terminologies that you require to understand what is the prefix of a given string say for an example you are given string x equal to w y then this w is called the prefix of a string right here for an example you are given putra jaya string where this putra is a prefix while to find out the suffix we require to consider this following string say for example for this putra jaya string the suffix is jaya you can have a y a also as a suffix you can consider this y a only as a suffix or you may consider this last a also as a suffix so these are the various terminologies related to now let us take an example to understand the algorithm that we are going to see today the name of the algorithm is navy string matching algorithm you are given one text that text is a b c a b a a b c a b a c you try to find out pattern a b a a in a given text so what are the steps that we require to follow first what you have to do you have to compare the very first character a with a right if it is matching then we have to start comparing the second character b is also matching with b but the third character doesn't match so what we have to do we have to apply we have to apply the shift operation so when we apply the shift operation right right here you see this c and a was not matching so what we have to do we have to apply the shift operation so when we apply the shift operation what is going to happen we have to shift this particular pattern by one so again your a b a a so a b a a you will write here now you are trying to compare b with a but it is not matching so there are no chances of other characters to be matched so what is to be done again you have to perform shift operation a b a a again you see as first character is also not matching so there are no chances of other character is going to match again what you have to do you have to apply one shift operation and you will compare this a b a a here and now if you try to compare a is matching with a b is matching with b a is matching with a and a is matching with a means what we can say we have found our pattern in a given text still there is no end of the text so what we have to do we have to repeat this particular process right say for an example this example clearly shows suppose if you are finding this a b a a pattern right so we started comparison from this point right so it doesn't match so we applied the first shift operation so here the value of s was 1 shift equal to 1 when we reached here the value of shift was 2 right and when we reached uh, here the value of shift became 3 and at shift equal to 3 we have found out our pattern in a given tag so this shift s is equal to 3 it is called a valid shift now there are several other observation that you require to make the length of the text the length of the text if you count all these characters 1 2 3 and so on so there are 13 characters so the length of the text is 
n equal to 13 and the length of the pattern is m equal to 4. Here you are trying to find out the pattern ABAA. So, the length of ABAA is 4. Now, up to how much point which shift operation we have to repeat this particular procedure till your shift value is less or equal to n minus m means in this case 13 minus 4 so 9 so up to shift 9 you can do otherwise what is going to happen if suppose you are at this point a b a a now you see a and a is matching b and b is matching a and a is matching c and a is not matching means what we require to perform the shift operation but if you perform shift operation here and your string now will go here now you see it is going out of the range and that is not possible so at max the shift value can be n minus m right this is another example we are trying to find out the pattern a b a in this given now here you see this is an example where we are having multiple patterns so here also we are able to find out one pattern and here also we are going to find out the another pattern right so at shift equal to 3 we are getting our first pattern and at shift equal to 9 we are getting our another pattern right so we have to try to find out all the possible pattern in a given right so the navy string matching algorithm finds all the valid shift using a loop that checks the condition Okay, so we have to compare with the pattern. We have to compare our pattern that we try to find out, and the length of the pattern is m. Okay, and s equal to equal to t s plus one dot dot up to s plus m, where s is stands for the shift. Okay, and we have to repeat this particular procedure. Okay, and where you see here, you can see the value of p is pattern. T is your text or you can say string and S it is called a shift operation. So this is how your algorithm will be. So the algorithm finds all the valid shift using a loop that checks the condition right and we try to match our pattern with a given text okay and for each of this n minus m plus 1 because the loop is starting with 0 here you see. That's why total how many times this particular loop is going to run n minus m plus one time, right? First, when you try to implement this Navy string matching algorithm, you have to try to find out the length of the text. You have to try to find out the length of the pattern, okay? And for shift uh, s equal to zero to n minus m here, right? And what we have to do, we have to try to compare the pattern characters with the text character. If it is matching, then we have to print the message, appropriate message pattern occurs with shift s okay so if you try to find out the running time of this particular algorithm it is going to be order of n minus m plus 1 because this particular loop this particular loop portion is going to run n minus plus m plus 1 one time and we are trying to match this pattern with the text and that's why you are multiplying it with the length of the pattern right that's why the total running time it is going to be order of n minus m plus 1 into m where the length of the text is n length of the pattern is m okay so there are various other applications of this string matching algorithm uh, you can use uh, it for intrusion detection you can use in bioinformatics even you can apply in the digital forensics there are several problems with this particular Navy string matching algorithm, unnecessary shifting. Even if the first character is not matching, here you see C and A is not matching, but still now we know as our pattern is starting with A, so it is probably going to start matching with from this point only, right? Still we need quite to compare with this C first. That's why there are several unnecessary comparisons that we are going to make and this uh, how this algorithm will going to take more time right so whenever a character mismatch occurs after matching of several characters the comparison begins by looking back in the text from the characters which follows the last beginning character 
and this makes the process very now to overcome this particular problem we are having several other string matching algorithm like rabin cap string matching algorithm finite string matching algorithm kmp algorithm is there bars murray algorithm is there right so we are going to see all these algorithms in our upcoming session right so this is what we had to cover regarding navi string matching algorithm